Hello guys, after completing the embryology of our digestive system, we will discuss no anatomy of digestive system. Digestive system is the process of food in which the extraction of nutrients uh, and the elimination of waste materials. GIT con uh, consists of mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum, anus. And in our accessory organs, we have teeth, tongue, slavery grain, uh, liver, gallbladder, and pancreas. Our accessory organs assist the food to digestion. Now we will uh, discuss the studies of GIT. First of all, our ingestion occurs. Basically, ingestion is the taking uh, intake of food and then the digestion. Uh, after the digestion, absorption. Uh, basically, absorption is the uptake of nutrients into the epithelial cell of the GIT and uh, send the nutrients into the blood and lymph. And ne next, uh, next stage is the compaction. In the compaction, uh, our water will be absorbed and the remaining uh, part uh, will turn into feces. And our last stage is the defection. In the defection, elimination of feces. Sliva and the slavery uh, glands. We have two types of slavery glands. Uh, one is intrinsic uh, gland and one is our extrinsic uh, salivary gland. The intrinsic salivary gland is very small. It aim and then it disappear. For example, it present in the lingual gland in the tongue uh, and our labial glands in the lips, in the roof of mouth, which is called palatine gland, and in the buccal, uh, buccal gland present in the cheeks, inside of the cheeks. Our extrinsic salivary gland have three pairs connected to the oral cavity by ducts. First is our parathroid gland, second is submandibular gland, and third is sublingual gland. Parathroid gland uh, present just beneath the skin and it present anterior to the air. The submandibular gland, uh, it is halfway along to the body of mandible. And the sublingual gland, it is present in the floor of tongue and it is connected with multiple ducts. The oral cavity is our first part of GIT tract. Uh, the ingestion beginning from here and the some digestion and the some absorption. Uh, the absorption of sugar occur in the oral cavity. The teeth. We have different kind of teeth like incisors. Uh, they do slicing of food and the canines. They are stabilizing the food and the premolars and molars do the grinding of the food. And now our next part is pharynx. We have three types of pharynx, nasopharynx, oropharynx and laryngeopharynx. The pharynx is a muscular funnel shaped uh, organ. <coughs> the nasopharynx uh, have, the nasopharynx start from the mouth, nose uh, till the esophagus. And the oropharynx uh, from the back of mouth, back specifically the back third of tongue, soft palate and the tonsil consist of oropharynx and the laryngopharynx uh, leading the trachea and the lungs. Now the layers of digestive system. First we have superficial deep layer, then we have our serosa layer, then we have our muscularis layer, and then we have submucosa, and finally mucosa. Now we'll talk about the stomach. In the first part we will talk about the general anatomy, and in the second part we will talk about the gross anatomy. Basically stomach is a muscular sac, uh, the location of stomach is upper left abdominal cavity inferior to the diaphragm. diaphragm. The food storage in the stomach is 50 ml to 1.5 liter after the meal and when you are extremely full, you eat till extremely full, the capacity is 4 liters. In the stomach, our mechanical uh, break, uh, breakdown of food uh, and also food is liquefies, the chemical digestion occurs. When uh, we intake our food, it becomes bolus and the bolus moves down to the stomach and when the uh, chemical digestion start, um, when it mix with the chemicals, it's called the chyme, which is the plastic mixture of semi-digested food in the stomach. And the most of digestion occur in, the, uh, in this form of chyme and after this, the chyme passes into small intestine. Now we will discuss about the gross anatomy part of the stomach. Uh, in the stomach we have uh, this shape 
first of all we have cardia of stomach which uh, lies just below the uh, esophageal sphincter and the fundus the fundus is just superior to the uh, attachment of esophagus and this whole part is our body of stomach and the end part is our pylorus and this side which have greater curve it is called greater curvature and this have lesser curve that's why this is called the lesser curvature curvatures and the in the end of pylorus there is a pyloric sphincter and in the cardi uh, cardiac region uh, is just uh, near to the three centimeter near to the cardiac orifice and the fundus is uh, superior to the uh, esophageal attachment and the our body is the greater part of stomach and the pylorus is our narrow pouch at the inferior end and now we have uh, three layers of the stomach first is our uh, longitudinal muscle layer and the second is our circular muscle and third one is our oblique oblique muscle and one more thing there is in the stomach uh, that is gastric ridge uh, the gastric ridge is just like a growth uh, it is made up of the gastric mucosa it is coiled by the gastric mucosa it helps the stomach for the expansion and also it increases the surface area of the stomach thanks guys for watching this video we will continue our part 2 on the digestive system uh, anatomy in next video.